what made you want to jump to a study coordinator position after being a CRA? Um, so as I was doing the monitoring, I realized that um, I don't think that I could be as great of a CRA without understanding what it's like to be a coordinator, to catch all of those nuances that happen at the site, to understand why sites um, struggle to recruit, um, to understand why patient retention and patient engagement can be an issue. All of those things I think I started to realize a little more when I was monitoring. Um, but I felt, and I'm just that type of person, in order to do my work, I really feel like I need to delve in and understand every angle of, of the industry. Um, and so I, I really wanted that change to understand and learn. Um, and I ended up loving it. Being a study coordinator is great. You work with patients, which is something you don't get to do. You work with subjects, which you don't get to do um, when you're a CRA or working on the CRO side. Um, and you learn a lot about you know, principal investigators, regulatory on the site side, and how the day-to-day -day ins and outs of running the actual clinical trials um, work. Right. Wow, that's a really good point. Um, yeah, a lot of times, uh, I guess the CROs want to hire study coordinators for that reason to become CRAs, because they are going to understand, you know, it's like, I guess it's like, you know, coming together like this. Um, I guess people right. can't see that, but kind of like a puzzle piece. Um, right. You know, study coordinators are the opposite of the CRA and they work together in that way. So, yeah, it's a lot easier to understand what the other's going through if you've been in their shoes. Right. Okay, so would you recommend other people to become study coordinators first to be a, a good CRA or do you feel like it really helped you to do that? Um, so I think that in order for me to get to where I am right now, what really helped is that I had some CRO experience from the beginning. Um, I think it's, if you look at a lot of the positions that are looking for CRAs, um, you will see that they'll say, they have to have, you either have to have CRO experience or sponsor level experience or five years of coordinating experience. So unless right. you want to be a coordinator for five years and then make that switch, I highly recommend at least finding something that's part time or something that's on the industry side of things so that you can say, yes, I know what it's like to work directly with the sponsor, work at with the CRO. Um, and then you can make that switch to a coordinator if you feel like you know you want that experience. I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but I do think that it was very helpful and it makes me a better CRA um, because I understand what's going on at the site. Okay, yeah, you understand the, the nuances, like you said, of everything. Right. Okay. Thank you.